Hello there, morons. It is Victor, King of the Morons, back again after a long hiatus. I got an email today from uh, someone, I forgot who I should look it up. He said, because uh, I should say uh, thank you for thinking of me. The Infinite Banana, which, you know, sounds kind of sexual to me, but um, who says, Are you pulling a cooney? <laughs> Don't do a Cooney and slowly release less and less while promising I'll be back soon and then just to disappear into other pursuits. I've been working my butt off. I Let me look at my calendar. I haven't had a day off in like literally in, two, in three weeks maybe. I don't know, maybe four weeks. Um, yeah, I've been busy. Not I, I can't say I'm doing things that are, are more a, pri a priority. Well, yeah, they're priorities, you know. Um, you know, you guys know I love YouTube, but um, oh, I got stuff to do, you know, and I'm married. So once you get married, man, yeah, that's that's half your life. And because I enjoy spending time, I'm sorry, with the wife sometimes, you know. But um, I got a, got a bottle of uh, famous grouse. Hey, someone noticed that in the last video, so I'm going to talk about, I want to answer some questions. And I'll remind you that uh, you should listen to my answers because I'm basically the only YouTuber. I'm, I have special skills. Oh, you hear that? Ooh, opening for the first time. I'm the only YouTuber who can smell cancer in a dog, so there, there you go. Today's uh, today's uh, shot glass is who almost spilt. Cleveland from the Family Guy. He's he's my least favorite character. He left, you know. It's not because he's black, right? Those I hey, it's got I you you thought that. I don't know anything about Cleveland. That's all. Okay, I'm gonna get to some of your uh, answers, and I got some. Uh, <laughs> I got the first one is a doozy, and it's so stupid I should ignore it. And someone said, "Why do you answer these Japanophile questions?" But because they're fun, because I like doing it. So as I sip the first sip, here's the first one. Mm. Let me see. I've never had that before. Famous cross. It's pretty good. Scotch whiskey. Hmm. Uh, spelled with just a Y. You know, there's two ways to spell whiskey, right? This is the one with Y. I forget what the mean the, the difference is. But it's uh, what proof is this? I don't know. It's, you know, you know, it's woohoo kind of proof. Doesn't say. 40, 40% volume. Okay. Anywho, it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty smooth. Mm. The first question is so stupid. You just, you're not, you're not going to believe it. And the account is gone. The account has been suspended due to multiple or severe violations. So, unless this person watches my video, he's never going to know the answer. Here's, I got to read to it. It's so funny. I have a hypothetical question. I'm a 15 year old. I woke up today and decided I won't go and root in school anymore. I don't know what root means. I won't be a slave for society and oligarchs. Last month was a living nightmare. I feel trapped, spelt T-R-A-P-T, and insecure. And I had to change something, so I decided to take over my life. I want to go to Japan and live in there next three years and spend the rest of my life like in four months at this time. I want to learn to speak Japanese. That, that's what it sounds like. If I hire a tutor and work really hard, I will see results, I suppose. Money shouldn't be a problem because I will steal from my father's business. Spelled with, spelled buisness. Around 50k dollars. My question is how to make this plan work out because I suppose airport security won't allow me to slip with such amount of money without detection. How exactly look the whole procedure? Other thing is that I'm underage. How to override immigration visa process so I will be allowed to stay without any complications? Do you think this might work out? You know, you might be thinking, Vic, he's only 15 years old. Be nice to the guy. But, you know, sometimes the the, the, the the nicest thing you can do to someone is just give him a, a knock knock upside the head. What are you thinking of? What's wrong with you? 15-year-old punk. Yeah, steal $50,000 from your father and move to Japan where, where you don't know anybody, you don't speak the language. Uh, no, you shouldn't do that. That's a really stupid idea. Okay? Very stupid. Any teenagers watching this, you can't just come over to Japan. And it, look, first first of all, let, let me let me clear some something up. It's not a big deal living in Japan. There's thousands and thousands of us. People come and go all the time. Some people think that some of us here, oh, we think we're special because we live in Japan. No, it's not a big deal at all. Yes, I'll admit the first, uh, I don't know, seven years or so, I felt, you know, I'd walk down the street and go, wow, you know, I'm living in Japan. Because um, it was, because of the cool things you see here and the interesting thing, you know. But I'm the kind of guy who sees beauty in everything. If you follow my Instagram, which you should, Instagram, give me a break, man, G-I-M-M-E-A. Follow my Instagram, you'll see that I take pictures of mundane little 
boring things, and I find I find beauty in them. I think, oh, a flower, you know, that you'll you'll probably just walk by and you think, oh, it's nothing. But for me, I think it's interesting. Uh, you know, I'll I'll put things together. So this look is just an escalator, right? Just an escalator going down. But I don't know. I like it. Just that's the way. That's my life. You know, just mundane things. Some kids going to school. You know, with a dog over my dog's face. You know, just that's um that's what I think is uh you know interesting. There you go, Instagram. So I'd probably feel the same way anywhere, but like, oh, I'm living in New York. As long as I were living somewhere interesting, I'd probably feel happy and excited. So it's not a big deal living in Japan. It's not like I'm, you know, I'm stuck up on, on that fact, all right? Okay. Um, however, you can't just come here with no preparation. Okay, you should have a little money and some skill, some ability to make a living, right? I came, ho I came over uh, right after the bubble. There were still lots of jobs. There's still lots of jobs out here, but you have to have a, you have to have, you know, at, le at least a, if you have nothing like I did, like no connections really, then, then get a, um, at least have a degree. Come on. All right. So, yeah, do not come to Japan if you're a young kid. I got another. Well, I'll, that's it for today. That's that's the first question. First question uploading soon. Oh, and apologies to um, Comical Raina and Tina. I told them I was going to bed, but uh, I figured I'd better pump out some videos. I left their show. They're doing a live show. They have a lot of live, a fun live show. I keep I keep uh, turning her down to get on the live show with her. Um, I will get on the live show, but I, I'm, I'm busy Sunday nights usually. So anyway, that's enough for this one. Don't be stupid. Um, psh, psh, destroyer of worms. Psh, there you go. See you soon.